Hi. In this video, we're going to go through the step-by-step -step process for replacing the circulation pump or agitator pump in a Whirlpool dishwasher. The symptoms of the problem we were having was that the dishwasher would run and everything would be wet, but the dishes weren't clean. The soap would run down the wall inside and still be there. You couldn't hear the washing arms spinning around. The way a dishwasher works is that a circulation pump provides water pressure, causing the agitator or spray arms to rotate and spray water on the dishes. If the circulation pump dies, the dishwasher will run, but the dishes won't get sprayed clean. What does a bad pump sound like? You can hear the click of the electrical contacts as if the pump motor is trying to engage but doesn't. It will run through all of the cycles fine with no errors, just doesn't circulate water. If your dishwasher does have a diagnostics feature, it will say that the wash motor wasn't working. So the exact model number of my dishwasher is shown here. You can pause if you want to check if you have the same one. This process will be pretty similar for Maytag, Whirlpool, GE, and Samsung dishwashers. Before we get our hands dirty, let's gather our tools and parts. Here's what you'll need. A quarter inch socket, a flat screwdriver, a pliers, a towel, a crimp clamp tool, and a new agitator pump. Now, make sure your dishwasher is unplugged or the power is switched off at the circuit breaker. With the power disconnected, remove the lower access panel. Use a flat bladed screwdriver to turn the plastic nut a quarter of a turn, then pull it out. Repeat on both sides. Next, remove the screw from the power access door. Open the door exposing the hardwired power wires. Remember, the power should be turned off already at this point. Remove the wire nut so that you can pull out the dishwasher fully. I would recommend taking some pictures of the wiring so that you can get everything put back together the same way when you're done. Next, turn off the water supply to the dishwasher. This is usually located under your sink. There's a T where water either goes to your faucet or the dishwasher. Turn off the water to the dishwasher. Now, go under the dishwasher and remove the water supply line. This looks like a garden hose connector. If it's too tight to loosen by hand, use a pliers. There might be a few drips, which is fine. All right, so the next step is to get the dishwasher out. Eventually, we need to lay it on its front to get at the pump. Usually, it's going to be held in place by a couple of screws, either in the side or up under the top lip. Remove the screws, then slide the dishwasher out. Put a towel or something down to protect the front, then tip the dishwasher forward to expose the pumps underneath. There are two pumps in a dishwasher. The circulation pump, which sprays the water onto the dishes, and the drain pump, which pumps the dirty water down the drain. We're going to replace the circulation pump, which is the top one here. The first step is to remove the hose with the crimp clamp. The best way to remove it is to pry the hose off using a flat bladed screwdriver. Next, remove the electrical plug. To see how to do this, we'll look at the new pump. There's a small plastic tab that needs to be pried outward, then carefully pry out the connector. Next, there's a plastic bracket that needs to be unhooked. It's kind of tight and annoying to get out. Just keep wiggling it and pull it out from its rubber holder. Now, pull out the rubber gasket. I found that it works best to pry out the whole gasket rather than trying to separate it from the pump at this stage. Once you get it out, take a look inside it. Sometimes there's a blockage in the impeller that was causing your problem. You might be able to clean out the obstruction and continue to use your existing pump. Maybe that will help you, but it wasn't my problem. My old pump was bad. So here are the old and new pumps side by side. Pry the rubber gasket off of the old pump and install it on the new one. Originally I tried using a different hose clamp and it didn't work. It leaked. So make sure you use the one and a quarter inch crimp clamps, sometimes called pinch clamps, that came with it. Fit the pump with the large rubber gasket into its slot. Then wiggle the bracket into its slot. Position the hose onto its port and make sure the rubber tab is fully seated into its slot. Then use a crimping tool to squeeze the ears until they touch in the middle. This will ensure that it is properly tightened. Next, feed the wire connection through its plastic holder tabs, then plug in the electrical connector to the pump. Okay, so now everything is connected back together. Go ahead and tip up the dishwasher. Reconnect the water hose and the main electrical. Don't forget to turn the water back on under the sink. Finally, when everything is back in place, turn on the circuit breaker. 
Turn on the dishwasher and watch underneath for any leaks. I hope this helps solve your dishwasher problem. Give yourself a pat on the back, you just saved some serious cash on a service call. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to hit that like button, subscribe for more appliance repair guides, and ring the notification bell to stay updated. Thanks for tuning in to Practical Mechanic. Until next time, happy repairing.